The company was founded in the early 1900s and originated in Chicago, Illinois. Um, started to manufacture tie rod cylinders, uh, started to really take off. And then a couple years ago, uh, we elected to move to Wisconsin and start investing back into the company. We manufacture hydraulic and pneumatic cylinders, um, also a lot of uh, very special custom cylinders ranging from inch and a half through 40 inch floor. Cylinder business is pretty aggressive. I mean, we try to ship everything, you know, five days or less. So you don't have a lot of time to, by the time you get the order, to cut the material, process the order, machine it, build it, ship it, paint it, you know, there's a, a lot of things that have to happen in a short period of time. To continue to um, reduce cost and bringing down our operating cost, um, you know, investing back into the company and technology that uh, allows us to um, take away handling of the different parts so that, uh, again, you know, we could pass savings on to the customer, uh, beating the competition and still you know, making money at it. The workflow here, we try and do everything in a, a straight a line as we can. We try to receive the material in the back and, um, you know, cut it, machine it, drill it, and, you know, every step that that part has, it, it try, we try and do everything as straight and, um, you know, as easy as possible. Uh, when I first started, it was the machines throughout the shop. We had, we had one of everything. So if you had a, a, to run a part over here, it was a lot, it was more difficult to move stuff. When something happens, a machine goes down or, or whatever, it's a lot, di you know, it was differ different to move it around. Here, we, we tried to streamline everything going with, with the Mazax and the Nexus controls where it's easier to program, easier to move tooling, or, you know, if you're going from a machine, a like machine to another. Mazak, um, again, looks for removing non-value added, um, quick changeovers, a quick throughput. And that's what I'm looking for in the HANA business because, again, we're a job shop. Our quantities are, you know, four or five, six pieces. Uh, we can't afford to spend a lot of time setting them up. Um, so we've invested a lot into the Mazak machining centers uh, from lathes and verticals, uh, getting ready to do some horizontals, uh, just because uh, they're very user friendly. Um, I like the done-in-one concept that uh, they support and um, you know it's, uh, it's changed the whole um, way that we manufacture because HANA really is a, a, a production job shop. With the new equipment, with the, the, like the 510 and the um, 700s, we were able to group the parts together. So we, we run them through, instead of having a lathe and a vertical to do a certain size, we could have two verticals and two lathes and run all the sizes. Less changeover is, is um, easier when you, you have a dedicated machine. With the Mazax, you've trained somebody on one, they could easily go to another machine and uh, learn that one. And once they learn the machine, we then send them off to the, the training center so that they could now have questions and take drawings of our product over there and just learn how to become more efficient. You know, there is other machines out there that have uh, adapted to conversational control, but it's nothing like the Mazak. The main thing with the Mazak that I see is the ease of being flexible. That's the, I think that's the whole thing with our type of business. You have to be able to react every day. Not every day is going to be the same. So you might, whether the orders are up or the, the load is up or a machine's down or something, you have to be able to react. And I think you can um, lose real quick if you can't react. And I think with the Mazax, it just um, gives us the ability to react a lot quicker with a lot less um, disruption and in the shop. Oh, 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 oh.